Um, speaking of email addresses, I'm not sure if everybody is familiar with this tool. It's called Epios, epios.com. You can put in an email address um, and you can now also put in a phone number and it is gonna pull a bunch of data. Let me show you what you get. I think this is a great tool. Um, so I put in uh, a, a sort of rarely used Gmail address of mine. And here's what you get with an email search. So the email was cjsilver at gmail.com. Um, the first thing it does is it searches a lot of databases that collect information about um, online services that have been hacked. And so oftentimes a service gets hacked, um, somebody dumps all of the, you know, the user account information. It's like the username, the email linked to it. And so it is searching to see like, has this email address ever been used to register an account um, and been, you know, subject to a breach? And in this case, it says that I, apparently I had an Evite account back in, you know, uh, years ago uh, with cjsilver at gmail.com. I forgot that. Apparently I also have a Gravatar account in cjsilver at gmail.com. I had forgotten that as well. So this is a way to just give you a sense of, okay, is this, is this email you know, active and has it been used to register accounts on different platforms? And then obviously you could try to find you know, the uh, associated account. So that's like, hey, has, has this email shown up in breaches related to platforms? And then it also does a really great search to tell you information of whether or not this account, this email has a Google account linked to it. Now, obviously this is a Gmail. So of course it has a Google account linked to it. And you're going to get lots of info. So we get, you know, the the photo associated with. In this case, I had never uploaded a photo to this account. Um, it's telling you, uh, you know, the Google Maps and Google Calendar accounts that are linked to that particular email. And if people are kind of sloppy with their privacy, I have honestly had times where I clicked on the Google Maps link, and I could see somebody has gone around the world leaving reviews using this Google account. Um, similarly, if they have uh, very poor privacy on their Google Calendar settings, there may be some stuff there. And again, this is publicly available data. You're not breaching anything. It's just what this person's privacy settings has, has made available. And if it's, a, it's an old account and they actually had been active on Google+, Plus, the, uh, the, the long since dead Google social network, you may be able to pull up an archived link from the web archive um, of their Google Plus account. So that's pretty cool, huh? Um, what else do you get? Well, it will tell you um, other places that this email may have been used to create an account. So apparently I had created a Discord account, a Spotify account, and a Twitter account all using this email. I had forgotten about all three to tell you the truth. So again, these are indications like, oh, okay, so maybe there's a, you know accounts on these. Can I find this person on these particular platforms? All of that from just throwing in an email address um, and, uh, and, you know, and I see, uh, Val just asked the question, which is the most logical question. Is this a paid tool? No, this is free. You sign up, register for free. It is a free tool. It is run by like a, an investigations company and it is free and freely available. So have at it. No worries about money. So that's what you get with email. And you can throw in a phone number. Again, I'm just going to warn you as I always do. Uh, a lot of these tools are built by Westerners. They often have a bias. I don't know how good it's going to be for a, a phone number um, in, in different parts of, of Asia and what have you, but it's always worth a shot. And here's what you can get. So for example, it will tell you if that phone number has a Skype account associated with it. And in this case, it will give you actually the Skype ID. Uh, so that's this information is all correct of mine. And if they have an avatar photo, you'll get that. Um, so yes, I have a Skype ID. It, my ID is ordinary media and I did connect my phone number to it. And that's why they're able to pull this up. Um, and it will also tell you if a phone number has been used uh, to register on different social networks or websites. Uh, so in this case, my phone number is linked to an amazon.com account. And it's also linked to my, my to an Instagram account. Um, so this is all, you know, potentially helpful information. What it's basically giving you is a sense of the online footprint connected with a phone number and an email which you can then use, you know, to gather more information. And in particular, you know, with the, the Google account, uh, it, it may give you access to information, um, you know, information to, to, to gather uh, further about, you know, where they've been or what have you. Uh, a very good question. So, you know, when it's giving you the link to amazon.com or instagram.com, is it actually taking you to the account that this phone number is linked with? Or is it just telling you, hey, it's somewhere on amazon.com? 
Unfortunately, it is the second. It is just telling you that this phone number has been linked to an account on amazon.com, but it does not tell you exactly um, what that account is. Uh, so that's, that's information that you're just gonna have to sort of see if you can triangulate and figure that out.